Hi, everybody. I'm home. I'm recovering well. Thank you for all your wishes and blessings. I'm really, really grateful. So today, back in the saddle, I thought this impeachment, what's going to happen with it? I've had a lot of requests. So I'm going to be looking at the impeachment today because I don't know about you guys, but I have zero zilch faith in the GOP to do the right thing ever. But let's have a look at that. Um, but first, I've had a lot of requests to, will anything happen with Giuliani over all his weird stuff in the Ukraine, plus backing the insurrection, trial by combat, or will he be allowed to skate? Yeah. So let's start with Giuliani. Let's start with Giuliani. What will happen? Will he be facing charges? Giuliani facing charges. Will he? Okay. Oh, the moon, it's very mysterious. Ooh. Look, I'm just going to stop there. That's quite bizarre. Four cards, three major arcana. This is a big story. So hanging over the top is the moon. Nothing is clear. Let me push this up a bit. Nothing is clear when the moon's in play and he's been obfuscating and speaking of skating and all that stuff fudge 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 the oh oh i wonder i think there's every possibility charges are being drawn up as we speak but they're keeping them under wraps at this point it is veiled here we have the knight of pentacles um, so when I'm reading for normal people, it's the card of being slow and steady and doing the right thing and working for a living. But dealing with these particular characters, it's my card of the mercenary. And he has been blatantly a mercenary, particularly in relation to Ukraine, Russia and all that stuff. Now, here's the kicker. Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is not good news for Giuliani. His luck is falling out, followed by the judgment card. Ha, huh, you don't have to be a tarot reader. Really, you don't. So I'm pleased to report, I think that means that it is happening. Something quite significant is going to happen to Giuliani. Even his daughter has come out and said he's a sellout and he's a disgusting human being. Well, that doesn't happen overnight. So I suspect he's been working at that for quite some time. So now my question is, what will the actual investigations reveal in this impeachment trial? I'm really not happy about a second impeachment, but what does it matter what an Australian sociologist thinks? So I understand the Dems thought they didn't have a choice, but um, I don't know what's going to happen. Really. Let's just see. Shut up, Lena. Pull the cards. Okay. What are we, the public, going to find out with these investigations around the impeachment trial? What are we going to find out? What are we going to find out? Oh, that the, this tentacles and legs. Oh. oh, deals made. Look, the information will be revealed. And it's very widespread. You don't get the world card when you're talking about, you know, something small. It's also the end of the whole major arcana cycle. So this investigation is important, regardless of what I think about it. 
it's symbolic and the world is paying attention to it. But it is, to, it's got to put him to bed. It's got to put Trump to bed. People are going to speak up and betray the Yeti. Don't you love it? Everyone who's been arrested has said to the FBI and everybody, I did it because my president asked me to. So it's going to be very hard, very hard, um, to say he had no influence. I think they're going to be lining up to stab him in the back. This isn't the GOP. This is other people who are being arrested, right? And Trump's legal team is now down to one used car salesman or something. So, you know, this is not marvellous. Oh, sorry, I digress, viewers. Do you see Mary Trump online? Um, she was asked, who is actually the most stupid of Donald's children, i.e. her cousins? And she said, without hesitation, Don Jr. Yeah. So what are they, these going to reveal? This is Trump just thinking about himself, just holding on to money for himself, not remotely interested in other people. We have the card of Taurus the bull. It's almost like the wolf man, you know, in the halls of Congress type image. But this Taurians, um, this can be about money. Once again, how does it come back to money? But it does, it always does. All roads lead to money. And don't you love the way the banks are now shutting their doors, they're closing accounts of the Getty. So what's going to be revealed is these pacts and alliances behind the scenes. The Ten of Wands, this is going to be a burden for the GOP. Well, I sure hope so. But now we've got the big question. Will they vote to impeach? Can 17 Republicans put their country before their own tiny little venal worlds? Can they do it? I don't know that they can. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Will the GOP impeach in the Senate? Will enough cross the floor to impeach or not? Will they cross the floor to impeach? Will they cross the floor? Will they cross the floor? So. Some of the younger ones might. Oh dear, oh dear, this is karma. Oh, Jesus. All the astrology cards have come up. Oh, my word. So, yes, the younger ones might. You have Neptune, one of the mysterious gods. Here we are the Jason Marmoa card. Here's the kicker, the South Node, karma, coming to bite them. This is the card of karma, where they're coming from. This is where the tension lies between the karma because most of them do know that he deserves impeachment. Most of them do realise the seriousness of it. And this is Aquarius wanting the new clarity to come forward. But they're holding on to this tired old energy and destiny. And we have Taurus again. Let's have a look. Money in Venus. So they're worried about their image, what they'll look like with their people. Oh, really? They are so shallow. They'd drown in a kiddie pool, wouldn't they? They're so shallow. These are my little clarifiers. The Sibylla Tarot. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. The question being, 
will the GOP impeach? This is weird. This is very weird. Let me, sorry about this. I'm working in an awkward space. He's the enemy. They know he's an enemy of the nation. As long as he's breathing in and breathing out, he can be a threat on some level, even though so much of his power and energy has been drained. Speaking of which, he's not well, but also the GOP isn't well. Their loyalty, this is the card of Fidelia, loyalty, is to the man baby. Look at that card. It's a man baby. Their loyalty is still to him. Hate that. Hate that. But as you know, intrepid viewers, I am always delighted to be wrong in some of these things. But as I see it now, they're not going to have the numbers. They're not going to do it. But let's hope some real dirt gets out in this trial. Do we know how long the trial is going to last? Can you let me know? Is it two weeks? Is it six months? What are we looking at here? You know, dying to know. So we'll be keeping an eye on all of that. And I won't leave you dangling so long. Now I'm so much healthier and happier. I will be back very soon. And I have got... A collaboration coming up next week, I think, with, yeah, your next Tuesday, the 26th, I'm going on Sheila, Celtic Tarot's channel, with Linda G, the goddess, the goddess. So that'll be such fun. So that'll be on Sheila, Celtic Tarot's channel next Tuesday, or at least we're recording it next Tuesday. So I'll also be getting back with um, Tarot's Apprentice and the wonderful Jen, Lynn and Becca. And we'll keep these collabs happening for you. Okay, you take care. Keep the comments rolling. Bye.